Hello everyone, welcome back to BTNX channel. Let's see today how to predict future values using forecasting option in Excel with the help of ChatGPT. If you are someone using Excel in your day-to-day -day job, let me tell you something, you are going to be replaced unless you are integrating AI in your Excel. If you integrate AI in your Excel workflow, let me tell you something, you are going to be 10x more productive and you, you will be getting that promotion that you deserve. If you want to learn all this, join me for my 2 hours workshop on Excel using AI. Okay, so this is the Excel sheet guys. Okay, so here we have order date, column, ship date, and sales, and profit. Okay, and this is the Excel sheet I downloaded from the Kaggle. Okay, so so you can take your own sheets for a, a comparison and for uh, working. So we are going to forecast. Okay, for these dates, what were the sales, and what will be in the next to future dates okay that is our intention so we are going to use chat gpt to explain all the steps okay so we have order date and the condition means it should be in sorted order okay because we should have the historical time based data here it is order date and we have sales data for the prediction okay so the what it will do means the forecast sheets will create a new sheet that has table that has the historical table and also the predicted future values. Okay. Now let's go to chat GPT. So here is the chat GPT part. I have already attached that Excel sheet. So now I need to give the command actually. Attached above. Above the sample. Super store data sample. sample super store forecast dot xlsx. Okay. And give me the steps I'm giving. Give me the steps how to use use forecast. it option under data ribbon okay without coding i will explain you how it is because this is the excel sheet okay so here is the excel sheet we need to do forecasting for that what i'm telling means the forecasting option is present in here okay this is the forecast sheet you can see over here right so for that i have mentioned this chat gpt that give me the steps how to use forecast sheet option okay imagine that i don't know how to use forecast sheet okay even if you may encounter different issues while processing excel so with a chat gpt you can prompt better information to get the better result okay so that's what i'm telling it is under the data ribbon and it should give me without coding, right? It should not give me a Python code or Java code to do this process, okay? So for that, I have given this code. Let's see what it is. So it is analyzing. So by the meantime, guys, one important update, okay? As you all aware, okay, that A is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI. And you don't want to get affected by this recession. Okay. So A won't replace you, but the person using A will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and begin irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours A tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best A tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Okay. And make your future secure with us and join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description. Okay. So it is processing. By the meantime, this is the beta next uh, uh, link. Okay. So go to our workshop. You can see the upcoming workshop. Go to this MS office. Okay. So here you can see all the details. Okay. Like uh, the when will be the next uh, workshop and who are the instructors and why to join this course and uh, 
these are the details so don't miss to click the link in the below description and don't miss to join the workshop okay guys now let's go back to our coding part okay so here it is giving the forecast sheet option in excel is a feature that allows you to create forecast visualizations based on historical data okay that's what i said the historical data should be there so for our processing i'll be using the sales okay and the order date okay so it's giving the detailed explanation okay and here's how to use to create the forecast sheet in excel okay and uh, open the excel sheet double click the sample chart to open it select the data it contains the historical data the data should be two columns okay all the what it is giving okay so now i am going to this order date as per the request i need order date and i am i will be taking the sales okay Okay, so that's control with the control of, uh, option. I selected only the sales and the order date. Okay, so now it's telling to go to the data. Okay, that is almost it has entered actually. There is some network issue. Okay, but you can adjust the forecast like that is given. So create the forecast. Okay, so now I'm going to the data part. Okay, and here is the forecast sheet. Okay. So you can see guys, okay. So based on this uh, 31, it has started from 31. Okay, I'm giving the future option, okay. So when it should start, I'm giving from 27 to, okay. So from 27 to 2016 to the end date is, it is 10, 3, 2016. You can change it, okay. Whichever you want. You can April like that also. I can give, I'm giving April 11, okay. So the 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 chart changes this these are the dates okay like what are the sales you can i will uh, maximize it so that you can understand okay and these are the forecast sales lower confidence bound sales upper confidence so these are the upper confidence lower confidence and forecast sales so this is okay and uh, we can adjust over here okay since uh, because of the bulk data and if i give years like 2016 17 18 based on the original data it will look very congested okay you may not be able to see the proper variation for that purpose only i kept only a yeah, one year data maybe it's like six months data i have given okay so you can check it so this is the forecasting part okay the right side is the forecasting part if you want uh, like a bar chart that also you can use okay and uh, here you whatever you want to adjust you can adjust i'm going back over here so if i now just to give create right so it will create a new sheet okay and this is the like this chart it will give and we can drag and drop wherever we want okay so on order date 31 uh, like 3 1 2016 the sales was 1648 so based on that only it has given the uh, the variation and if you look, look over here also, from here comes the predicted part, okay? The like uh, about 1, 3, 2016, how it will be and uh, what are the lower confidence, upper confidence and uh, like uh, I have given from uh, in this original Excel, I have given only the date from 3, 1, 2, so only two months I have given guys. Okay. See if the first month of 2016, that means January and February. Okay. I have given, but if you look over here, it has given like January and uh, February and also March it has given March and April. So if you are giving two months, it is giving extra two months of the prediction forecast to prediction. If you are giving six months, it will give the another six months. What will be the next uh, six months uh, prediction? Similarly, same thing. If you give two years, it will give for the next another two years. That means it will give the current uh, uh, prediction as well as the future prediction. That is the thing it has given. Okay. So if you see over here, see one three as per this order's date, we don't have March. But if you look over here, you can see March. What will be the forecast sales? If the range is going in this way, and what will be the forecast sales? So especially if you are in business, definitely you can forecast your uh, means profit like uh, how much will be the 
next if the if, if the series is going in this way so what will be the lower confidence bound upper confidence bound so definitely it will help you not only in business in your uh, uh, means office uh, projects if you want to predict the sales so definitely this will help okay so that is the option with the help of excel and with the help of chat gpt you can use this okay so i hope you enjoy this session guys okay so take care see you again bye bye